Okay, so 2021. I promised you guys all kinds of badassery. So I thought about this. What can I do out here differently that I haven't done yet? Or that hasn't been done in a while by most YouTubers. And I'm in a different section of the woods and I'm looking around here and I see wood as far as your eye can see that I can cut down. And I'm loving it because that means I can build to my little heart's content. So I'm thinking, let's kick off 2021 with a new series, building a tree fort in the woods. Let's check out this area, find our sweet spot, and then have a construction meeting. Okay, so after intense recon yesterday, these are the only four trees I could find that are in a row that are almost perfectly spaced, and it's almost like it was meant to be. One, two, three, and four. This one right here, we can cut off. I got looking at this, and I can see it in my head. Five to six feet off the ground, we got a platform. Another five to six feet up, we have a sloping roof towards the back. Doorway right here, rectangle window that would pop open, closed maybe an indoor fireplace. We'll see how this bad boy evolves. But check this out. Right here, it's almost like it was meant to be as well. There's a fifth tree right there. And I'm thinking sloping handrail and a set of stairs. Yeah, I'm liking it. All right, time to stop talking about it and build our tree fort in the woods. Okay, so I went ahead and I crunched all my data from last year. And the number one question I'm asked is about gear. And it's always asked in a way of, well, how come you never talk about your gear? You just show it and that's it. You never talk about it. You never review it. Well, here's why. I spent 11 years doing skills videos and gear reviews. Last year, I spent 52 weeks doing overnighters, showing the gear in use and what's possible with that gear. And I got thinking about that and I thought, you know, someone who's beginning or wanting to build certain structures, they might want to know about the key gear that I use to make that structure. So moving forward for this year, I'll go ahead and I'll make an effort. I'll make an effort to show the key items that I'm using, like an ax or a saw or certain types of cordage. I'll briefly talk about them and let you know where you can get them at. That way you can go out in the field and enjoy it also. So let's go ahead and kick this off with our cordage. And for this series right here, for the tree fort in the woods, I'll be using number 36 bank line. It has a brake strength of around 300 pounds. And it's, this one here is twisted. There's braided also. I prefer the twisted. It makes the knots and lashes a little bit easier. Um, it's made of three strands of number 12. The number is the diameter size. So 
Again, this one here has a brake strength of around 300 pounds, and you can get it on Amazon. Okay, so last but definitely not least is my pack axe. This one here is the Woodcraft Camp Carver by Council Tool. Measures 16 inches in length, made from 5160 steel, and I believe the head is around 26 ounces. And it's a pack axe, exactly what it is. It's meant to go in your pack. And I've seen far too much heresy on YouTube with people standing up, swinging something this size between their legs, it bouncing off the wood, shearing off to the side. That to me is an accident waiting to happen. Um, other things I've seen range from digging holes with knives and breaking rocks with axes, even driving nails with an axe. This one right here has a hardened pull on it, so you could actually drive nails if you wanted to. Um, for this build, I won't need to do that. But for something like this, it's a camp carver, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. I can grab up here, I can choke up on it, I can shave wood down into a point, or if there's knots on a piece of wood, I can shave it off, get a nice smooth flat surface. So for this build, I think this would be good to go. As always, all the gear in my videos can be found in two places. One, my Amazon Influencer page, and two, my Self-Reliance Outfitters Influencer page. If you're interested in Corporal's Corner merchandise, they can be found on Teespring. All three links are found inside my description box.
tree fort in the woods, Corporal Family Robinson. Perfect. Okay, so we have our horizontals in place. One here, one's going to go back over there. And we have our supports that are lashed to our trees using an arbor knot. And that will carry the load across my floor down into these supports. I'm going to lay my floor beams or my logs perpendicular to my horizontals. Boom, 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 boom. And that should push the weight right down along the trees into the supports into the ground. So, outstanding. Last thing, I think I'm going to go ahead and lash these to my trees using a diagonal lash. New year, but like I said on my channel, we come here to work. We're out here, we're getting it done. Okay, so today we're gonna finish this platform if it kills me, come hell or high water, I don't care. Once we get these logs landed up on top, I'm gonna run another horizontal right there in the center. And I think I'm gonna prop it up with two Y branches. Preferably if I can find some flat stones underneath that log or that Y branch, that way it guarantees that floor won't deflect at all. And that's probably the most important thing of this entire structure is that all the weight is distributed and run down into the ground. I don't have concrete columns. I don't have a concrete foundation. Um, no Home Depot materials here at all. Um, and the worst thing would happen is I'm inside that and it breaks off and I fall. But that's why I want that bad boy supported on all four of these trees as well as the center. So time to hydrate up. Uh, ice cold water. It's currently about 34 degrees out here, so you know, I'm out here sweating, drink that, instantly cooled off. So, that's one thing while we're talking about water here. Um, any campsite that you come to, it's one of the five W's. We have wind, we have widow makers, we have wildlife or wigglies, we have water, and we have wood. Today's key word is wood, and that's what I need to build the structure. I want to build the structure with in the vicinity of wood. I don't want to walk half a mile and bring materials back here. Whatever I use, I want it right here in this area where I can walk to it, grab it, and go. Same with water. So right here, we're on an elevated hill. We're up on top here, and it's kind of flat. And down here's a creek. On that side over there is a creek. I can walk over there 20 yards, get water, boil it with my stove, and I'm good to go. So my opinion is, or I'm of the opinion that any campsite that you make or you stay at, emergency or not, if you don't have access to that water, 
you probably shouldn't be staying there. Um, it's foolhardy and just ridiculous. This is the band of my existence right here. Every one of these pieces of wood has got knots all over it. And this is a different part of the woods. Usually when my videos you see where I'm at, people are like, where do you find wood that straight? It's impossible. Well, there are certain places. This is not one of them. So I'm out here. It's gonna take twice as long, but we'll get her done. Okay, so check this out. Here's one of the problems I'm fighting with out here. You can see an elevation difference right there. So all I'm doing is I'm grabbing some shims or some pieces of wood they already cut and I'm raising it up. Place them underneath there and I'll go ahead and I'll secure those off with an arbor knot. Solves the problem. It works. <sighs> That's a lot of work. So. I'm thinking it's lunchtime and then we got more work to do, but it's a nice cold day, so I got something for that. Let's go ahead and pause one more time. If you like what you see here, please do me that favor. Hit that like and subscribe button, then ring that notification bell. Once you ring that bell, please select all notifications. Then take it a step further. Grab your cell phone and download the free YouTube app and sign in. This will give you push notifications when my new videos drop.
What are we talking about here? Grilled ham, turkey, cheese, onion and tomato on a ciabatta. Just like your mom used to make it. Oh, and uh, Campbell soup, tomato soup. And you know Campbell's, mm-mm good. Just like your mom. And I would know because I did time in 29 Palms. Know all about them moms. Outstanding. Joking aside, this is really good. It's not 100% healthy, it's healthier and packed full of protein. Mm. Tell you what, this is really good. Catch you all in a minute. Mm. All right, that meal was good to go. All that protein though is probably gonna put me under, so need to uh, caffeine up. All right, um, my meals have changed up. Bacon's gonna be part of my videos in the future. I'll do it every once in a while. I'm trying to expand my horizons on the meals that I can cook out in the field. Um, like today, it's lunchtime, it's not dinner time, it's not breakfast time. So I thought, you know, it's cold out here, grilled cheese sandwich, tomato soup. Let's go ahead and see what we can do with that. Um, also, my diet's changed due to me wanting to do bigger and better things. I mentioned a few videos back that at some point in the future, preferably this year, um, September-ish, I want to go to the Everest Base Camp. Um, I've been training for that. I'm also trying to bulk up and pack on some pounds. And to do that, I need a lot of protein. Um, at the very least, I can become the Rich Piana of bushcraft. Um, joking aside, let's talk about the next project here. I want to go ahead and install a ladder, some way to get to this platform without having to jump up on here. So to do that, I brought out some mule tape. I'm gonna take this, do a clove hitch here, and a series of half hitches, just around the outside, around the outside, and then slam in some rungs for my ladder. Boom, 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 boom. We'll try and make it per code. I believe that's every 12 inches, but we'll see.
It works. I'm happy. And there you have it, building a tree fort in the woods, part one. And this is just an example of the badassery I have planned for 2021. We have plenty of series, and I'm not going to give anything away, but I have plenty of series like this. I want to go two, three, four, five parts, break, start a new series. That way we can just windshield wiper and just go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And I think it'd be fun. As always, all the gear in my videos can be found in two places. One, my Amazon influencer page, and two, my Self-Reliance Outfitters influencer page. And if you're interested in Corporal's Corner merchandise, that can be found on Teespring. All three links are found inside my description box. Now, please do me that favor. Hit that like and subscribe button, then ring that notification bell. Once you ring that bell, please select all notifications. And as always, thank you for your comments, views, and support. Thanks for watching. Get out in the field, have some fun. I'm going to catch you next time.